Namaste friends, welcome to Learn with Jay. Empowered by Magic Needles. This day I am here with a Irish motif which is worked in a round with uh, chains, single crochets, double crochets, half double crochet and picots and a beautiful lacy pattern is created out of it and this particular pattern can be incorporated with other granny squares, other patterns and this can be converted into any wearable also when we work around with, with a particular set of patterns in mind you can make it into a wearable it can become a centerpiece for your pillowcases and what not and this goes well with your free from crochet too so let's go into the video without further delay friends chain 8 Slip stitch and join to the first chain. To form a ring. Now round 1. Place 18 single crochets into the ring. First chain 1. This is not counted as a stitch. 18 single crochets. I shall complete and get back. I have placed 18 single crochets at the end of the round. One slip stitch and join to the very first stitch. Now chain 8. This chain 8 is considered as double crochet and chain 5. Skip 2 single crochets in the third. Place one double crochet. Chain five. One double chain five four more times by skipping two stitches between them. So continue the stitch pattern, complete and get back. At the end of round two, having made the last chain five, slip stitch and join to the third chain of the chain 8 so 1 2 3 take it under the top two loops now in every chain 5 loop every loop you are going to make one single crochet one half double crochet three doubles one half double and one single so repeat the same stitch number of stitches set of stitches in every other petal and get back at the end of round 2, having finished the last single crochet, slip stitch to the first single crochet, join. Now chain 1, this chain 1 is considered as a single crochet, otherwise you can pull up the loop to the height of single crochet and make a single crochet. Having done the single crochet, chain 5 and working behind the petals here, not in front, place a single crochet in the first single crochet of the next petal. Again, chain 5. Single crochet in the first petal of the next first single single crochet first single crochet of the next petal. Sorry. So continue 
all around and get back at the end of this round slip stitch and join to the first single crochet or the chain one now in every chain space we need to work one single crochet one half double five double crochets one half double and one single crochet continue the set of stitches in each of the rest of the five loops and get back at the end of round five slip stitch and join to the first single crochet make a single crochet in the very first um, sc of the petal chain 1 and one pico chain 3 slip stitch to the third chain chain 2 one pico chain 3 for pico slip stitch to the third chain 2 one single crochet in the middle most DC this is one two three in the third DC that is we have done five double crochets in the middle most make a single crochet chain one one pico sorry three chain three and pico chain two one pico chain two and a single crochet in the first SC of the next petal so work the stitch repeat all around and get back at the end of the speak round slip stitch to the first single crochet now slip stitch to the chain 2 space between the first 2 picots next 2 picots for next round to begin chain 8 one you see in chain 2 space between the next two picos here so instead of working over the chains you can work on the second chain chain 
chain 8 SC the second chain of the second chain between the next two picos so at the end of the round you should have 12 8 chain spaces so continue the round I shall complete and get back at the end of the round slip stitch and join to the first single crochet here The final round, eighth round, place eight single crochets in each of the chain spaces all around. So let me do the first one. One, two, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And eight is eight is see in each chain eight spaces all around and complete the round. At the end of the round, slip stitch to the first single crochet, join and fasten off. I shall fasten off later. Go to place a stitch marker. Yeah. So here we go. We complete the Irish motif. It's a round motif, beautiful flowery motif, lacy one with a lot of picos in it, and this can be used as any decorative piece. You can use it for decorating your other tailoring work or your uh, crochet work to in between you can have and this goes well with your free form crochet too. So thank you friends for watching this video. If you happen to be the first time here for our channel, please do like and share if you really like it and uh, do subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you are notified of the videos that we upload every other day. And they have a new pattern every day. I shall meet you in the next video with a new pattern friends. Bye for now.